Hi friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you're doing great. In this video, we're going to see a simple option in smartphones. How to add a digital signature and watermark option. So it's pretty uh, easy a task because we have a graphical field and anyway, the digital signature is in the form of image. So we'll see the steps first. What are the steps to be added? to achieve these two options in smart forms. One is the first one is for the digital signature, keep the image ready and upload it to the repository with the help of IC78 transaction. Normally we used to do this transaction for uh, uploading any image and then include the added uh, or uh, imported signature image using a graphical fill in smart forms. We have a window called graphical window, just add it and fill the properties along with the name which you have given for the image. This can be a static or dynamic. If you want a dynamic and make sure you have multiple images, the relevant images are uploaded through AC78, then get the image name in a variable and in the graphical field, instead of the hard-coded name, just give the variable enclosed within ambassance. So this is a common in smart form. So once you have the variable and the variable is receiving the image name dynamically, then automatically it will pick the image from the repository as per your business need. Okay, so this is for digital signature. Another one is a watermark background is nothing but normally we just it's a wider one. It's a draft version. So those information how we can add it. Same like digital uh, signature option include the image into the repository through IC78. And here we have an option called background picture for every page. So if you want a different page, if you want a different uh, background picture or background, uh, the watermark option in the different pages, then go to the background picture of every page and add it whatever images you want. Okay. And here you have an option called output, output mode to be set. What happens is sometimes there is an option that is a drop down in the background picture option, uh, outbound, uh, output mode where you can see whether you want to see the, um, the watermark option, whether in, in the preview or print and preview and print out or nothing. So if you select only print or nothing, what happens is you're not able to see in the preview option. Okay. So this needs to be set to make sure that is also visible in the print preview as well. Okay. So that's it. Small two options. We'll see how it can be done in the system. So this is my system. I have already created a smart form with some data. It's a little tough today. I'm not sure. Uh, it's very slow. So I don't want to take your time. That's what I just made some basic inputs in the smart forms, at least to visible some data. So PO information, item and material is empty because some issue with the Microsoft Office, so it takes a long time to open and close. That's why I didn't fill it. It's, it's nothing but you have to fill it over here. Okay. So I have some 50 pages of uh, data. I just return everything in the smart form itself for global definition and uh, initialization types, everything over there. So now I'm going to add a signature. Uh, so first I have some few signature means two signature images and one for the draft version. So I'm going to include it, I mean, it's upload in SE78 transaction. So just double click the graphics. Yeah, just, just keep the cursor or double click, just keep the cursor over here, then go to graphic, import. Okay, I just double click the B map. Yeah, keep the cursor over there. Right click, sorry, graphic, import. Then it'll ask where is the image. So F4 minus in the documents level. So bitmap. I'm sorry. Okay, this documents, and here I have DS1, digital signature 1. So give a name, same DS1. That's pretty slow today. Color and continue. Okay. So this is mine. 
mistake. So file name is DS. Documents DS one bitmap dot BMP. Okay, and continue. Hello. So do this for other two things. Import f4 documents ds2 open it so i just do everything in one shot ds2 color is okay i'm going to include the draft as well okay then import is successfully the final one is for draft so f4 documents draft open so you can just change how you want depends on your business need draft draft continue so all three images uh, got uploaded in ac78 so it's ready to use in our smart forms so go to smart forms and i need a window here so right click i wanna Graphic. This is for a digital signature. I want it after the main window. Seriously, after the node. Okay, graphic. So here, what do you want? So F four one execute it will give as an option sorry f4 here ds1 color bitmap image and execute yeah it has ds1 so included color bitmap so everything is fine here and just check the form pattern where the window is so i want the window to be with the end of the graph so end of the main window means content of the main window so i'm going to keep it here that's it okay just save it act it and execute background and everything you have to just change it because i simply saved with ms paint so that could be one of the reason you'll get the back background image so here you'll get it so maybe you can match the background image also okay so the same thing if you want to dynamic uh, make a variable maybe i'm going to add a variable in the form interface means i'm receiving the dynamic input options from outside of the smart forms so image type character 10 okay i can use optional then use this image variable here in the graphic node so here the name is going to be the amazon image that's it. Activate. Activate it. Execute. Execute. So now you will get a, one of the parameter here is image. So I'm getting DS2. Execute. Print review. And here you can see the red one. This is DS2. Okay. So the based on the user input, the image is getting picked repository so this is a way a little bit like if you want very rare scenario because digital signature is going to be the same but sometimes depends on the user input the signature to be to be changed or selected that is the case you can use this and the other one is a background so for the background picture or if you want the draft version the watermark option if you want to use uh, go to the page and there is an option called background picture here just give the name whatever name you have used while uploading the image so f4 draft draft color check yes i do have one 
so everything is fine and then close it so here you have an option output mode if you are not select anything you are not able to see the drafted version in the print preview so let me show that first without having any option here activate okay and execute you can adjust the picture also uh, by designing that way you have to do what um, ds1 it's pretty weird today okay ds1 print preview so you're not able to see anything here right the draft version so you have to go to the background picture tab and you have to select print preview or print so I, I want in both the places print preview and print also I want the drafted version so sometimes they want only in the preview so then you have to select that option as well so execute one more execute and this is now I want ds2 then execute print preview You can see that one okay so again this is just an image i kept it and based on if you want to match the color everything then properly you have to um, make the image ready for your business need so this is a way we can uh, able to add the signature static or dynamical option digital signature or the watermark options okay so hope this might be useful just play around if you have any doubt please let me know thank you so much for your time see you in the next video bye